Aloha from Maui. This is Brian from Patients Without Time. I'd like to announce that we have our normal chapter. We've held one event so far, which was on St. Patrick's Day. Great turnout. Go to the website, check out the video blog on St. Patrick's Day. What I'd like to do is give you a little historical accounting of where we are up to today. Two years ago, we started an organization called Patients Without Time, where we help facilitate people getting their medical marijuana licenses. To date, we have gotten over 680 people their licenses. We have over 18 doctors on island writing prescriptions, and things are going along handsomely. During this time, we've also created another organization called Maui County Citizens for Democracy in Action. Through Democracy in Action, we created two ordinances that we were putting on to the ballot this November. We did run into a little snag though. The initiative process, we have to create a committee of five to present it to the county, which we did. Our committee consists of patients from patients without time. Two of the patients are so disabled they really can't do anything but be figureheads on the ordinance, but we felt that was fine and we went forward. After submitting our application to the county for our committee, we, was, we were informed that just the five people who signed the committee can collect the signatures. Needless to say, this has created a major problem for us because in reality it brings it down to three people, 10,000 signatures. Originally, we had figured that just like in the rest of the country, that we would have each patient be able to collect signatures and put it on the ballot. With the 680 patients, we had assumed we would only need each patient to get 20 people, but that all has changed. So what we're doing now is we were lucky, a good friend of ours, Mike, who owns a place called the Waui Maui Kava Bar, right on Derry Road in downtown Kahului, has rented us his lanai so we could have a central location in town for people to come to to sign the ordinance. We had to change our whole attack plan from having patients collect the signatures to trying to come up with a spot where all 10,000 people could come by to sign. So what we've done is created a whole new program. We're using radio ads and we're actually having great results. Our first weekend, we collected 1,500 signatures and we got 1,200 people to register to vote. And that was with just two ads on two radio stations. The way the county has tied our hands, we have no choice but to create a central location and advertise for people to come and sign the ordinance to make this happen. Everyone on island is showing a great response and we'd like to thank all the people that have shown up and to tell them, send 10 friends.